Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about barefoot shoes and why you should possibly add them to your wardrobe. But if you're new here, my name is Amber Luce. I post fashion and lifestyle related content as well as the occasional vlog. And if that sounds like something you're interested in, definitely hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification so you never miss a new video. That being said, let's get started. Okay, so you might be asking yourself, what are barefoot shoes? Barefoot shoes are just shoes that are made with our bodies in mind. So they're flat, they are supposed to mimic, you know, how our feet naturally, like the natural movement of our feet and things like that. But it helps with like your body's natural alignment, so posture and your balance. Um, it helps strengthen the muscles in your feet, obviously, because your feet are now doing all the work. There's no arch support to kind of fall back on. Around November is whenever I started wearing barefoot shoes, and I would say since then, I've definitely seen a very big difference in my knee and hip pain. It has been amazing. Like I do not have nearly as much pain as I was having when I was wearing regular shoes. I mean, I think there's definitely ways to incorporate it into your wardrobe that is like, you know, fits your lifestyle better. Um, and you really have to think about where you live, what you do, like how, like when you're wearing shoes, how are you wearing them or like where are you wearing them to? Sorry guys, I'm reading off my phone right here because I have a couple notes, but I do have a few pairs right here that I own. I only have three right now. They are a bit pricey, but you can find some affordable options. I'll definitely link some pair below, but I have these. Just check and make sure I'm in the view. But yeah, I'll show you this better with the sneakers that I got from Amazon. These are about $40, I think. They're a very popular barefoot brand because they're so cheap. Just a regular white sneaker. These ones are very beat up. But yeah, see, they're flat. They don't have any arch support and they're flexible. Let me get a little bit closer so you can see that. Well, these ones are made out of canvas, but they're made so your foot can naturally move in the shoe and it's not being restrained in any way. So this shoe is completely bendable. And I even took out the insole on the inside, so it's just very bare bones on the inside. But yeah, the idea is that, you know, your foot has natural movement also, the toe box is wide, so your toes can kind of spread out. Normal shoes are kind of narrow. They squish our toes in like this, so they don't really get the chance to grip the ground. And these are especially really good if you have wide, wide feet like me. But yeah. Some people don't like them. I think they're very cute. Like the shape. The only thing is, it's like, you know, love a good pointy toe, but and then here, these are a pair that I got from Etsy from Phil Barefoot, I believe. I'll have them linked down below as well. These ones are leather, genuine leather, and they're made in Turkey. But yeah, these ones are a bit stiffer. They have rubber soles. Next time I will get um, the, like, the other option that they have. I got rubber because I thought it would last longer. But still pretty flexible. See the shape. And then the only other pair that I have are these brown Chelsea boots. I got them at the same time I got the black ones. So I bought them from the same place. Feel barefoot. That's what they look like. These ones have, I don't know what this is. I think it's suede on the bottom, I think. And then like some type of rubber. But yeah. And these are their Chelsea boots in the brown. I want to get another pair in black and then a few sandal options. They don't really offer sandals at the store that I bought these from, but there are other stores like Ruby Barefoot and Croupon, I think. Yeah, like I was saying, they're just, so, they're just supposed to enhance and kind of just work with the way our bodies naturally work. They help with posture. But yeah, I have my list right here of the things that I took notes on. It says barefoot shoes provide a wide toe box so your toes have room to wiggle and grip the ground and the zero drop helps your body to stay aligned. Um, I'm also not an, an expert so I will leave some helpful links for you guys down below. This is just what's been working for me. I've always had um, knee and hip issues. Uh, I was a very active kid. I played sports, all the, all the things. Around November I was looking for some new shoes for work and I tried. I was like, oh, I'm flat footed. So I'll get something with an arch support in it and that'll help. Oh my gosh, it was the worst thing ever. I had the worst pain in my life. 
So then I did some research and I went to TikTok and that's whenever I found out about barefoot shoes and I was like, hey, I'll give them a try. So that's whenever I bought this pair off of Amazon. So this is my first pair. Again, they're very beautiful. I have not washed them yet. They're made out of canvas, I believe. I think I said that already, but. So I bought these for my work shoes. At first, they do take a little getting, like you have to adjust, like get used to them. Because you know, obviously when you're wearing a barefoot or minimalist shoe, uh, your foot is having to do the work. So if you've used shoes that have like arch support and all that jazz, all the cushions and all that stuff, then the shoe's doing the work and not your foot. So whenever you switch to a barefoot or minimalist shoe, then you have to do more work. So it does hurt a little bit. I'd say maybe like the first week or so, um, but then you get used to it. For me, it was almost like, I think a week and a half maybe to get used to them. Um, also at work I was standing and doing all that stuff. I would say yeah a week and a half and then I was good to go And then I remember a couple weeks after I switched I We were going to like a wedding reception and I was like trying to figure out an outfit and I only had the white boots I mean not the white boots the white um sneakers um, And I was like, oh no, like I want to wear something dressy. I tried to wear like nude heel um, And I just could not do it <laughs> I could not do it and a lot of people say that once you like switch to barefoot shoes you kind of like can't go back because your regular shoes hurt too much and I definitely felt that my feet are just wide and flat-footed naturally um so the moment like I let my toes like breathe they were like no we're not going back in to regular shoes so I definitely had that's whenever I was like okay I'm gonna get some more shoes I asked for barefoot shoes for Christmas they normally range around like a hundred like the really popular brand is vivo barefoot and their stuff's like 150 um which is a bit pricey so i did try to look for different like sales and deals witten has a few other styles of shoes on their um amazon page but nothing really formal or dressy and that's whenever i bought the black pair i decided that if i was because these ones are like 100 no i think they were on sale for 90 I think they're originally like 150 but I was like if I'm gonna pay Vivo Barefoot $150 for a pair of shoes or Phil Ground $100 for a pair of shoes I might as well support like a local shop or like support someone on Etsy leather they're sturdy they're quality originally I got them because I wanted to wear them like as dressy shoes but um now it's summer or spring but in South Carolina it's summer um so i want to get like a nude pair or like some more sandal options but yeah i decided just to go like if i'm gonna spend over a hundred dollars might as well support someone on etsy very good quality great customer service just can't say enough good things i'll have definitely have them linked down below i was very scared ordering from an etsy shop but it turned out really it, it was no big deal um, so yeah i got the black shoes and the brown boots from there and then i plan on getting another pair of the Chelsea boots in black. The one thing I will say about the boots, I got them in an eight. I know in normal shoes I wear eight and a half, but in barefoot shoes I wear an eight. Obviously it makes sense in my mind because there's not as much cushioning and all that other jazz to like take up room in the shoe. Um, so in barefoot shoes I'm an eight wide. With these, they do fit, but if I'm wearing thick socks, then it's kind of a little too much. So I think I might go a half size bigger whenever I buy the black boots. And I'll also link some <clears throat> barefoot content creators that I really like down below as well. So you can learn more because I, I'm, I'm not a genius. I'm just telling you from my experience. So I also do have a blog post um, that I'll have linked below for you guys just so you guys can have more like this is the list. Um, I know I'm all over the place in this video. I'm just really just chatting. Um, so I'll put that down below so you can kind of get like a boop, 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 like a bullet point of everything. Also, and I haven't done too much research on this, so I will like link some stuff down below if I can, if I can find some stuff. But I have heard that, especially for women, barefoot shoes are really good to support like pelvic health or what is the word? I guess pelvic health. Yeah, support pelvic health. But <laughs> and they also barefoot shoes also reduce injuries so obviously because you're strengthening your muscles and your feet and your legs it 
you know obviously reduces ankle injuries knee injuries hip injuries things like that uh, because you're strengthening the muscles but yeah i would say that's about all i have to say about that um, if you do want some more inspiration for like how to style your barefoot shoes i don't want to say anything bad but I feel like the barefoot shoes trend is like all one style or one vibe. It's very like earthy and outdoorsy. And I mean, if that's your thing, that's your thing. But, you know, maybe you want to be like a city girl, a fashion girl, a Paris girl, like all those things. So if you're interested in all that, definitely check out my Instagram for Amber's Life just to see how I'm styling my barefoot shoes. But yeah, I'm, I'm still having a bit of trouble styling them, I'm not even going to lie. Um, but I am getting better at it. And also, I only have a few because they're expensive, but um but i am working on it as always thank you for watching this video hit the like button comment down below tell me have you tried barefoot shoes would you try barefoot shoes do you hate barefoot shoes let me know in the comments down below and i'll see you in the next one <laughs>